Hello everybody, this is Mike Jr. the second, and today we are going to be doing a redo let's play of a game I did a long time ago. Mega Man Star Force Dragon. This game, and subsequently the uh, Mega Man Star Force Leo and Mega Man Star Force Pegasus, were the first games in the Mega Man Star Force series. Uh, there are three games in total, also a kind of spin-off, which is probably more of like one-tenth of Star Force and blah 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 blah. It, it's a weird kind of spin-off thing. I'm not- I won't even get into it until way later. But anyway, like, different game later, because there's really no point in getting into it. Um, but besides that, yeah. This is the first game in the Mega Man Star Force series. I am a huge fan of Mega Man Star Force 2 and 3. This game, it has good gameplay, but the story and characters kind of pull you back a bit, where you're like, mm, do I really want to give this game a chance? So, because of that, I kind of wanted to redo my old Let's Play, because I did it in a horrible fashion, and I know the game already isn't the best in terms of story, so it makes me kind of go, if people are interested in 2 and 3 and want to watch the first game again, I want it to make it as entertaining as I can. And by the way, this is going to play in the background over and over again until I get this worked out. So anyway, but real quick, I do want to... There are different openings. Like I think there's like three different ones with our character. So I could be wrong. Maybe just two, but I think there's three. So, But anyway, my old Let's Play switched in terms of the way I showed the DS screen. Because right now, in this beautiful looking screen, uh, we have, for the majority of the RPG sections of the game, we are going to have the character on the bottom right as the big screen, and the normal, like, e extra information on the top left screen. Uh, sometimes it switches, uh, basically when you start combat in this game, in kind of a weird uh, fashion, they change the, the perspective of the screen to where the action takes place. So uh, I will always make sure the, big, the, the main thing that's going on will be on the big screen, but for the most part, um, the bottom screen is the bottom screen, the top screen is the top screen. I'll talk to you guys later about when I switch it. In my old Let's Play, I did this terrible thing where uh, I did this for all of Naruto Path of the Ninja 2, where I would show most of the top screen and then a little bit of the bottom screen as well. Which might be, like, somewhat okay, because I guess when we're actually playing, you know, like, focusing on the top screen, we do kind of see a little bit of the bottom screen in it, but in reality it was terrible. And I had to switch it later on when I got different editing software, and the... well, I had to get new editing software because that one didn't... the, the old method didn't work anymore for whatever reason. But anyway, uh, after that I just made it so that whatever was the main focus going on, that's what I put the screen on. So it was either just the top screen, just the bottom screen. I tried to show a little bit of information if we were, like, talking about it, but... Other than that, that was it, so. Um, this one is going to be a much better done Let's Play, more in line with my uh, Kirby Superstar Ultra Let's Play, and I believe my, uh, what is it? What did I call it? Not on the mic, that was the stupid podcast thing I tried doing, which failed. Uh, there was another one. Uh, oh, Mike Jam's on. Yeah, I did that for uh, Squeak Squad, I believe. So, yeah, and I think I actually made something for Star Force 2 back in the day, but I never ended up using it. I'm happy I didn't use that style, because I kind of like this one a little bit better. So, anyway, yeah, so that's what's going to be going on for this uh, game today. Um, if you don't know anything about the Mega Man Star Force series, it is a sequel series to the Mega Man Battle Network series, which take place, which both of those games take place in their own little kind of universe going on. Or, or should I say that, yeah, yeah, those two, those two series, better yet, uh, take place in their own little universe where the rest of the Mega Man series take place in their own universe. So, like, Mega Man Battle Network and Star Force are the only games that are within their own universe, and the other ones are within their universe. So, uh, to my knowledge, there might be some other weird, different situations of that changing, but I just kind of want to get that out of the way right now, that that's, for the most part, the what's going on. Um, this game, you don't need to play Mega Man Battle Network. I sure as hell didn't to uh, play the Mega Man Star Force series. So this was actually my first Mega Man series that I got into, and I think it's the last series that actually came out uh, when Keiji Inafune uh, left Capcom. And I, I want to say uh, Star Force 3 was the last Mega Man game for the longest time until uh, Mega Man 11 uh, came out. Either I think it just came out recently. I haven't been paying attention. I just know they were coming out with it. So anyway, uh, we'll get that out of the way right now, so uh, I don't think I have anything else I need to say. Uh, the only thing I will say is that I did voice acting back in the day for the characters. I will be doing it again. This is an RPG, and while maybe in some... I, I know some people don't like the whole voice acting thing, but I think it makes sense within the context of this game, because if you are watching and want to enjoy this game, um, you, you'd probably be like, okay, well, I want to sit back and enjoy it, maybe do something else while I'm watching this, but... I can't necessarily... I don't know, I'm just thinking of it kind of like a Phoenix Wright kind of 
those kind of games, there's a lot of talking and stuff going on, so it makes sense to to talk yourself, <laughs> to to voice act the character. So I, I won't try to make him goofy at all. I'll try to make him as serious as I can can be. So yeah. But anyway, uh, we'll finally get into this uh, Mega Man Star Force Dragon again. There is a Leo and Pegasus. Uh, for the most part, they're just kind of little different things take place within the game uh, between both of them, but they all are essentially the same story, just slightly different stuff. So you don't have to worry about that. Anyway, and we will be starting with a new game. God, this is ominous music. <laughs> it is the year 2200 and X. Um, if I remember correctly, uh, this is either 100 or 200 years into the future of the uh, Mega Man Battle Network series. I forget which year they took place in. I want to I wanna say it's the either 2000s or something like that, but I could be wrong. Either way, this takes place uh, way into the future of the Mega Man Battle Network series. Extraterrestrial life has been discovered. The new space exploration agency, NASA, that's right, not NASA, please don't sue us, in an effort to enter into a friendly relationship or brother band, bland, blah, blah, <laughs> can't speak already, brother band with the aliens, launched a space station named Peace. Man's dream to find other intelligent life among the stars had finally been realized. However, the space station, the hope of man, met with a mysterious accident, and it disappeared to whereabouts unknown. Fade out. Uh, I just blinked, guys. Where'd it go? Aw, oh, crap. We're gonna get in so much trouble. Of course, many people worked hard to find it, but the space station could not be found. And then a few months after the incident, a section of peace was found in the sea. All hope was lost after that. NASA took it hard and stopped the search and put the project on hold. Permanently. Three years to the day have passed since. I can't believe it's already been three years since Kelvin's space station vanished. <sighs> I suppose it has. Oh, I wanted to ask about how you were. Oh, how he's doing. He's in the fifth grade now, right? He would be, but he still can't bear to go. Ever since the incident, he, he's been very close towards everyone. I don't blame him. The boy lost his father, who he loved dearly. That's got to be tough. But if he's not going about, uh, if he's not going, what about his studies? We're managing with the card force system. He's studying from one of the textbooks type cards. Navi Teacher Man. So as you can see here, if I I, I, um, I didn't play a lot of the Mega Man Battle Network series. The only one I played was the fifth one, and I literally got all the way to the final boss, and when I couldn't beat him, I just kind of gave up after a while. <laughs> but um, but anyway, as you can see, Navi's Teacher Man, uh, they do exist within this universe, uh, FYI, which kind of, kind of explains that, yes, this is the future to the Mega Man Battle Network series. So uh, they are a thing, but they aren't like as substantial as they were in that series. But he's not really focusing. He fiddles with gadgets or reads about the stars. He wants to move to outer space to find his dad. Oh, I see. If only we had more power. We could have found... Aaron, it's okay. It's not your fault. It was an accident. Yup. There he is. Look at this little guy. Just not gonna say anything whatsoever. I'm just gonna keep moving along. My mom's talking with somebody. Ah, crap. Mom got me. Now I'm gonna have to talk to these people for two hours when she says they're gonna be leaving in five minutes. Come here and say hello, young man. Fine. Oh, shit. Giving his mom sass. No more, no more gadgets for you for a week, young man. This man is Mr. Boreal. He worked under your dad at NASA. Howdy. Hey. I really owe him one from when I worked at NASA. That was one brave man, your father. Oh, yeah, I quit NASA a while back. And now I work at my own lab, just outside of town, researching the Earth's space and the stars. If you want, you're welcome to drop by, um... Don't be rude, introduce yourself. Um, uh, okay. So for some reason in this game, they actually give you the ability to name your character. Uh, they get rid of this ability in future games, so we're just gonna call him Geostealer. I also don't think it makes much sense to name him anything else but Geostealer, because... Games that have silent protagonists somewhat make sense because they're trying to make you feel like you're that character involved in everything. But uh, there being the fact that Geo actually has a character in this game, uh, not, a, not a lot of it, but he does have a character. Uh, because of that, it kind of like makes you go, mm, you know, he has his own character, so there's no reason to go, that's me, because it's not you. And that is the correct name. 
My name is Geo Steeler. Nice to meet you, Geo Steeler. And before I forget, I brought you a present. This is a very special pair of glasses. It's called a visualizer. I heard your father used it in his work, but I don't know much else beyond that. I found it when I quit NASA, and I just thought I'd give it to you. And Geo got the visualizer. This was... Dad's? Thanks. Are you heading to your usual spot? Yeah, it's gonna be clear out tonight. So I'll be able to see the stars really well. Geo, your transfer isn't on. Oh. Geo turned on this transfer. Oh, fuck. Scary. <laughs> the blackness is light now. Honestly, why must I always remind you to keep your transfer on? Now check your battle cards, your brothers. Who cares? I don't have any brothers, so no one is gonna see my personal page anyway. Damn, dude! The fucking mom's gonna mom's gonna hit you in front of company. <laughs> what are you talking about? If your transfer isn't on, no one can see your ID info either. Okay, I get it. I'm going now, mom. Be back in a bit. Man, he's just fucking oh, a ball of little sunshine. Sunshine, isn't he, guys? Oh, he's always like that. I wish he could develop a brother band relationship with some friends. You know, it's kind of your own fault. You literally left him out of school for what was it? Uh. What was it, three years, I think they said? So, you know, that's kind of not a good thing. You usually need to interact with people when you have uh, <laughs> tragedies that happen <laughs> in your life. By the way, where's Geo heading off to? Vista Point, just beyond the school. He goes there every day around dusk and just stares up at the sky. He thinks he'll see his dad. Ever since that day, time has come to a stop. For us, anyway. I know we should move on, but it's so hard to. So yeah, in my original Let's Play, I give Geo a lot more shit about how, oh, you should just get over the fact that your dad being dying and, and doing stuff like that and blah 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 blah. But, you know, I, I still somewhat get it. He's, you know, especially because his mom fucking... Oh yeah, you can walk back in here and talk to these people. But his mom literally let him shut himself out from everybody, so because of that, it kind of just becomes like a whole... Of course he didn't make in his friends, of course he's not moving on, because he, he's got literally nothing else but what he saw the day his fucking dad died. Anyway, you're going to Vista Point? Maybe I'll go ahead with you next time. Oh, God, no. <laughs> Come on, I, I can get on the skateboard, kids. Come on, just let me... Oh, I broke my broke my back. Don't stay out too late, okay? I forgot they let us go back into this. So anyway, yeah. Okay, sorry about that, guys. My dog was uh, barking at the mailman. <laughs> so anyway, yeah, so now that we're in this town, I do kind of want to explain, like, what's going on in the main screen right now. Um, I talked about how in the past I had a different version for the way that I did uh, Kirby's uh, Superstar Ultra, where, and I kind of had the similar idea for doing it here. But basically, it would explain to you on the screen, like, which specific section of the world you were in and stuff like that on, like, a little title card. But I decided to get rid of that because the game literally already tells you that. Geo's living room, and then down here it's going to be... Echo Ridge, which is the town that Geo lives in. So because of all that stuff, it really doesn't make sense to have that. It's a little redundant. I also have a little notes thing in the corner, which is my the best thing I could do to kind of make a transfer in Photoshop in like 20 or 30 minutes, I think it took me. So I don't know. I actually had a lot of fun making that. But hopefully it looks decent. I will be putting notes underneath it for the future for like, hey, this is what we're going to be, you know, th you know, if I messed up any details or sometimes I lose train of thought when I'm talking. So I'll try to finish my sentences with that sometimes. So I do apologize for that. But anyway, yeah, this is Echo Ridge. Now, real quick, I do want to state that the game, I don't know why, but it looks kind of weird. Like, I've i have had to fix, do a lot of editing and changing of stuff to make it look decent on this. I don't remember what it looked like on emulator, but I think because we're in an era now where the pixels are so super sharp, like, when you move, sometimes the game looks very, like, blurry while it runs, where it looks great, but then when you stop, it's, like, nice and sharp. It's really weird, and I had to make the perspective of the screen as I'm recording it fit like a perfect thing, and then blow it up to the image we see now to hopefully not have as many issues. It's not perfect, but I do want to point it out so if anybody sees it and they're like, hey, you know, why is it like this? This is literally the best I could get it to look without it being a total crap fest. <laughs> so anyway, yeah, but anyway, uh, a second ago Geo did talk about, hey, you can check your email and stuff, blah 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 blah. So yeah, here's a bunch of stuff here. We have email, which kind of tells us about the different stuff that we can do. Um, I think this class review right here is basically telling us how our transfer works. Uh, we can save our game, we can look at our battle card library, which we won't really look too far into that so far. I forgot they they have a little robot saying it each time, that's actually really obnoxious. Then we can save the game as well. Also, as you can see right here, we also have ourselves a little odd uh, picture on the top right corner of the screen. That is a dragon, uh, because we are playing Mega Man Star Force Dragon. Um, this is the only version of this game that I have. For the other two games, I actually recently just bought the other versions of those games, so I could have them around for, like, um, 
making brothers is kind of not as important and as this game as it is in future games there is like a reason for it and we'll get into it in the future wait i talked about brothers didn't i all right well we talked about brother bands a second ago with the characters and stuff we'll actually get into it more in a second but i do want to tell people that for the most part it's not that useful or, or important in this game as it is in future games so i'm just gonna say don't worry about it too much um, again, I will try my best to show off the things that are slightly different within these versions and the other versions. It's not going to be something super important. I think I'll probably record, like, in, on an emulator, I'll probably record, like, slight differences within the versions. But other than that, I think I'm just going to leave it as I play this version. Um, I will probably go a little bit more in-depth in the future uh, games for, like, the different versions and what goes on and stuff. And then up here we have our personal, which tells us uh, Geo's health, what level he's at, which is not really a level, honestly. And then uh, your six favorite cards. So anyway, yeah, I did want to point that out. That's our transfer. If I ever call it transfer, I apologize. The names are so close, and honestly, I just want to say transfer every fucking time. So I do apologize for that. So anyway, yeah, this is our little town. Little is definitely a good name for it, because there is not a lot of houses here, despite... it's It's got the whole Pokemon thing going on where it's like, wow, you know, this is like the only other house that doesn't have a main character inside of it, and yet there's all these people over here. Though I do think when you look at other stuff in the future, it's just kind of assumed that everything else is off screen. So it's just these are all the important things. Did you know about three satellites up there? They're called Pegasus, Leo, and Dragon. Huh, interesting. The three satellites host a variety of transfers, and transfers on the same satellites are connected in their own network. But ever since the space station incident three years ago, they've been in charge of stopping harmful EM viruses from landing on Earth. Yes, viruses are still a thing in this game, and while they don't really bring up, like, the characters themselves being able to do the viruses, besides Geo's mom talking about uh, having battle cards ready, um, I remember in the anime for this game, which only got to a good chunk of, of this game they went over, and then they also did the sequel, uh, Mega Man Star Force, they, if I remember correctly, they did, they did it really short, like, I guess it just wasn't popular, they were like, you know, fucking finish it up real quick, cancel it, call it a fucking day. <laughs> But anyway, they do show Geo, like, actually, like, oh, my microwave has some viruses in it. Don't worry, Mom. And then he, like, opens up his transfer and he kind of gets rid of it. So that is kind of a thing carried over from the Mega Man Battle Network series, but it seems to be a lot more... There aren't battle navvies anymore. It's just they're useless because of the viruses that are going on. Though apparently there's more powerful viruses showing up. Anyway, people of all over this country all belong to one satellite or another. Which satellite do you belong to? I belong to Dragon One. So do I. So Leo is basically the blue one, or sorry, the red one, and then uh, Pegasus is the blue one. So they kind of got a whole color thing going on, like Pokemon. Uh, but like I said, there's really no reason to kind of worry about which version you get. Do you know about Navis? Uh, yes. Okay, I guess you don't need me to explain. Eh, we'll talk about them real quick. In every Navi card, there's a Navi. They're programs, but they can do a lot of things. If you swipe a card with a skill you need through your transfer, the Navi will appear. There are all kinds of skills on those cards. For example, if you uh, swipe Driver Man's card through your transfer, he can drive your car long ago. People could only have uh, one Navi, but now you can have a lot of them and use them when you need to. All thanks to the card system. It's a really convenient age we live in, huh? Yeah, so as you can see there, it's kind of... They're not as important anymore because... It's like, imagine, you know, how much... How big of a deal a fucking pager was back in the day. You know, it's like, oh, you got a little thing that's kind of a... Not necessarily a text message, but hey, you're needed in a spot. Now we have cell phones with, like, tons of fucking apps on them. And, like, everybody's contact and we can text wherever we want to and... Ugh. <laughs> what do you have to say? You have battle cards, right? These cards were created three years ago to help people deal with the EM viruses that started popping up. They're all different kinds, so they're more than just stop viruses. You can have fun collecting them as well. Oh yeah, you can edit your card deck by going to the... Yeah, I'm sorry, I'm talking about how the game works. The device on your arm has a transfer, and in it your personal information is stored on. So you should show it to a stranger, okay? You should only show it to your brothers. You are people... Oh, uh, brothers are people you truly trust. Enough to form a brother band with them. And that's what a brother band is. So, oh, but uh, when you form a brother band, you have to tell each other your biggest secret. Uh-oh, not my biggest secret. Oh, man, I don't want anybody to become my brother now. Do you have any brothers? Um, no. Well, you have to choose your brothers wisely, so totally understand. Oh, yeah, he doesn't have any brothers because he's a loser. Security is very tight at this up. Oh, didn't mean I wanted to talk to the old man. If you swipe your card through your transfer, the wave inside the card will be activated. Then you can operate electronics using the EM wave power of that card. Navvies become EM waves and control things, too. You know we can't see them, but I wonder if they really fly around. So anyway, yeah. Uh, the only thing I guess I can really say is that when... You, uh, get ready... So if... Uh, something I didn't talk about before, but I'll say it now. 
if you were a big fan of the previous Mega Man games, uh, Mega Man Battle Network and Star Force is not the game for you. It does a very interesting RPG kind of real-time slash turn-based combat kind of thing going on. I find it really fun, and being my first Mega Man game, I totally get it. But, uh, you know, I really enjoyed it, but obviously if you paid like Mega Man, Mega Man X, even like Mega Man Legends, this is not going to be the game for you. So don't go in expecting that. Please have an open mind if you're going to come into this game and even into this Let's Play. So I do, wanna, I do want you all to keep that in mind. But anyway, I think we should continue on with the story now. Let's go to our spot. Uh. You there, wait. I like how Geo actually listens. Oh, get ready to hate this fucking music, I swear. You're the one, aren't you? The boy who never comes to school. I am Luna Platts of Echo Elementary Class 5A, which makes me your class president. The big bio behind me is Bud Bison, and the short one is Zach Temple. Wow, you just don't even give him a chance to introduce themselves. By the way, get used to the stare on Geo, Geo's face, where he's just like, ugh, like he hates everybody. I, so... Geo is very much an emo kid because of the fact of, maybe without the black, but he's definitely a very emotional kid because of the fact that he lost his father. So, but because of that face, it's kind of hard to like him, so I, I often call him Gmo. I might still call him Gmo, but I'll try to get away from it. Hey, jerk. Don't just stand there. Say something. The Prez is waiting for a response. What do you want? Nothing, but it's my job as class president to see that all of my classmates attend school. Uh, what? I hate it when things are not perfect. So having one person missing is unforgivable. Sorry, but I've got nothing to do with you. Hey, you can't say that to the Prez. How dare you? The Prez is telling you to go to school. Don't look down on us because you're taller. Bud, Zach, that's enough. In any case, Geo, I expect to see you at school tomorrow. So anyway, now that we see these little cast and crew members over here, uh, you notice anything very familiar about every single one of them, if you know anything about even the, whether it's the Battle Network anime or the fucking, the games themselves. Uh, it's really weird. We're missing one kind of related color character, but other than that, uh, the Bud Bison is obviously like the, the guts man type person of the series. And then in the last game, there was a rich short girl. And in this game, for some reason, they thought, no, 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 two dimensional character can't, can't have that. You know, you know, maybe 1.5, we gotta split it in half. One character specifically short, and I guess we'll make him a little smart, and the other one's this just the rich snob, but not short at all. <laughs> so yeah, I just kind of wanted to point that out. <laughs> it's kind of stupid, but whatever. At, at least Luna and Zack do are completely different characters, where Bud is obviously the, the Gutsman clone. Geo Stealer. Something tells me he won't be showing up. If only we had some way to open him up. Hmm. Today's brother band lesson was, yes, that may come in handy. Come on, you two, let's get going. Oh god, she has such a preppy walk. But if you notice, too, they all have different things on their hands. Uh, it seems like uh, Zack is Dragon, Bud is Leo, and um, or the transfers as it is. And then um, Luna is uh, Pegasus. Which is weird, because if you look at Geo's arm, I guess they didn't feel like coloring it in for each individual sprite, so they literally have it like this, not any of the three colors, despite the fact that we're Dragon and... Yes, it's on the top left corner of the screen, but I'm not talking about that one. The one that's actually on his arm. School, huh? He, he will say that if you go near the school as well. Anyway, this part of the game is the character Luna kind of telling us about the brother band. Ugh, it's from the Prez. Hi, Geo. It's your class president, Luna Platts. So yeah, this, this is what this part is. I'm going to skip a decent amount of it, but I do want to kind of show the more character-related moments of it. If you don't... I, um, sorry. I don't like your attitude, but I can forgive you if you come to school. We have some Brother Band homework today. I've attached a new version of the Brother Band program we use in class, so make sure you do your homework. Oh, and one more thing. Come to school. Now initializing personal page editor. Okay, so this is Luna explaining uh, Brothers to you. Okay, looks like we're all set up, blah, 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 blah. So I'm going to skip most of this, but for the most part, uh, here, right here, is kind of a screen where we have our main character in the middle, and then we have our brothers all around the screen. So, um, if you play the game, or as you play the game along, there are basically in-game brothers that you can get, and then there's also outside brothers you can get as well. So the outside ones are basically, like I said, the, the Leo version, the uh, Pegasus version, Dragon version. If you had other friends with that game, you could connect to this game and then have them be your brothers. There are very minor effects in this game compared to the future games, that you get out of them. I think it's just minor abilities within fighting. I never had any brothers for this game, so I don't actually know that much. 
But yeah, so that's really all you get in this game, and it's not anything too necessary. There is technically one other thing, which I'll kind of get into in the future, but for the most part, that's it. That's all that brothers really do. Again, you have the whole, here's the original message, and now that we're brothers, I can tell, we can tell each other our secrets, you know, etc, etc. So that's kind of all that is to this. Um, the, um, you can only get a certain amount of brothers when you get uh, six, if I remember correctly. I think it upgrades to double that amount. But then after that, that's all the brothers that you get, so keep that in mind. Uh, just for now, I'll be your brother. Yeah, so this is what it's like to be your brother. Uh, like I said, there's in-game brothers, though, that you don't actually have to have friends. <laughs> Next game, I'm, I'm happy you're thinking about me. But anyway, you don't have to actually have to have brothers to get most, some of the good stuff, but to get the really good stuff, you do want to be brothers with people. Oh no, I meant to say no, no! Uh, so, but anyway, that's what brother bands are. When you uh, become a brother band with somebody, you have to share uh, your secret, but usually you have a message as well. Yeah, got all the facts, blah, blah, blah. Here is the personal page now. Um, beat combo is, I think, something specifically with our game, so there's nothing really to think about. Blah, 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 blah. This is a personal page. So, uh, yeah. Anyway, she's going to tell us... Oh, hey, oh, wait, there's one thing I do like here when she does do it. The lower part is your uh, battle data, huh? You can't see because because I'm in the way? All right, I'll leave for a second. Push the A button when you're done. I do like that. I don't know what that is, but that makes me like, ugh, that's kind of funny. But anyway, as you can see here, there's actually the whole linkability thing, which I believe has to do with the whole, if I were to link to somebody, this is what I would give them, an extra 10 HP in battle, and then also another medium class card I can use in battle. So, anyway, but yeah, that's, I, I don't know why I like that a lot. Um, in the future games, I think you only get four favorite cards, but in this one you get six. Basically, just real quick, I can explain it. When you have brothers on your team, uh, your favorite cards kind of turn into a roulette while you're playing the game, so then you will get a random card from one of those six, and then you can use it in battle, but only if it shows up within your card stuff. Uh, we'll explain that when we get into battling later. Yes, I'm up to data. Okay, so anyway, they want us to do our message and our secret now. So, uh, I, I got something I want to say. I cannot lie. That is my message. But what is my secret? Oh. Well, you know what, guys? Personally, I consider all of you guys my brothers. That's right. Which, by the way, <laughs> Hulk Hogan also made this system, FYI. You know, that's why it's called Brothers. That's why they didn't go, like, family forms or, or whatever, or, or sister status. They went with brother bands because, you know, Hulk Hogan had his, uh, had his way with this. But anyway, what's my secret? I mean, well, since you're all my brothers, I'll, I'll let you know. I like big butts. I said I couldn't lie, therefore, I must like big butts. Those are the rules. Uh, uh, I don't know. I literally took a logic class. There's like a there's like a saying for that, but I totally forget what it was. <laughs> so anyway, blah 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 blah. Connect when uh, hum. So hurry up and make some brothers. Oh, one more thing. If you have real friends and you want to form a brother band bond with them, uh, you can only become real brothers with three. Oh, that's right. So yeah, you have to get to a certain point on the left side of the screen with the three people, and then on the right hand side of the screen is where you get your. You can have up to three brothers. But if one day you achieve something great. The number of brothers you can have will grow. So basically, you have to get three on the left uh, left side of in-game brothers to increase it. I don't know how many you get. It's either like twelve or nine after that. Oh, it's good to train your own info on the screen's on-air section. Blah blah blah. Uh, sadly, because of the fact that this game, uh, the Nintendo DS uh, online system, uh, gave up <laughs> is the best way to put it. Nintendo got rid of it super quickly for some reason, which is weird because um, the Wii one stayed up forever. But uh, this one uh, went out. Actually, no. Actually, I think they went out at the same time. Never mind. But anyway, yeah, there is a way to kind of get online with stuff, but it includes this really complicated process with like connecting your DS to like a router and then turning it into like a. It seems like a much more difficult way than the PSP's ad hoc. But for the most part, you can't do anything online anymore. So that's why I got other versions of the future games because it's much more important to have brothers with those. And you can do it between two different DSs, but to do it online. You had to go through the server, and the servers are no longer up, etc., etc. So anyway, yeah. Oh, and that concludes your brother band homework. Now all you have to do is make some brothers, go on air, trade data, and come to school. Oh, and one last thing. Come to school. Got it? I'll see you at school then. Oh, God. <laughs> so anyway, yeah. Though hopefully... God, oh man. We're like 30 minutes in. It's been nothing but explaining. Yeah, great. Looks like I got some mail. That's just Luna covering her basis with that whole thing. So anyway, yeah, so that's basically a good chunk of that portion of the game. We do have a lot more talking to do, and I do apologize. Uh, I, th I will try to fit everything I can into, like, either this video or the first two videos, and then hopefully after that I can be like, this is story moment. 
Fuck the rest of it. It's story now. <laughs>